You can download the Rig Manager app for Windows and macOS from the Kemper website. Just make sure you select the correct version for your computer operating system. Once you have installed Rig Manager, you should start by entering your author name and Kemper user login details. Then any rigs can be copied from the profiler to the local library, and you can also use Rig Exchange with Rig Manager. Go to Rig Manager, Preferences, and enter your author name, which you also use for your profiler. You can find the name on the profiler in System Settings under Edit Owner. It's important that you enter the exact same name, including upper and lower case and any spaces, in the Rig Manager. Now your personal favourite rigs will be displayed identically in both the Profiler and Rig Manager. If you want to use Rig Exchange in Rig Manager, check the box Use Rig Exchange in Preferences. Then log in with your email address and password for KemperAmps.com. The first synchronization between Rig Manager and Rig Exchange may take a few moments. If you haven't created an account yet, click the Create New User Account area and you'll be taken to the Kemper website to create a new account. To use the Rig Manager and Editor with the Profiler, you will need to use a USB cable and connect the profiler to the USB Type-B port on your computer. Once you have everything connected, first switch on the profiler. As soon as the profiler is up, you can start Rig Manager on the connected computer. The Rig Manager is divided into four sections. On the left, you can see the different locations and folders divided into rigs, presets and performances. In the center of the window, you can see the list of available rigs, presets or performances. If you have a profiler connected to the computer via USB, you can double click here to load a rig or select a performance if you have activated the performance mode in the profiler. The corresponding information is then displayed in the right hand column. In the lower half, you see the editor with the signal chain and the controls for adjusting the individual modules. If a profiler is connected to the computer, the currently selected rig is also displayed here and can then be modified. If you click on the arrow next to all rigs, the different storage location for rigs will be displayed. First, you see the connected profiler, then the local library. These contain the rigs that are only stored on the computer. Here you can also create your own folders for certain projects or rigs that you use often, for example to access them more quickly. The next step is to access the Rig Exchange, the library of rigs created by our customer base. In order for this folder to be displayed, you have to check the box Use Rig Exchange in the Preference settings. This gives you direct access to the Rig Exchange and allows you to select and listen to the rigs via Rig Manager. Of course, this only works if you have a profiler connected to the computer via USB. The next folder contains the rig packs. Here you will find all rig packs that have been released by Kemper so far. When a new rig pack is released, it will automatically be displayed here. If you have a profiler connected, you can preview a specific rig by double clicking on it. The headphone symbol appears to the left of the rig name. The rig is now loaded in the connected profiler and you can play it directly. Of course, this approach works with all rigs displayed in Rig Manager. Under All Presets, you will find your own saved settings for effect modules, stack, amp, cab, and the input and output presets. If you click on the arrow, the presets that are on your connected profiler will be displayed, and in the next line, you can view the presets that are stored on the computer. Again, you can create your own folders to organize your presets. The presets displayed here are only those presets you have created for the corresponding modules and the factory presets for input, output, amp, cabinet, and stack. 
the factory presets for the effects are displayed in the effects selection in the editor. Your saved presets are also displayed there again, so that you have quick access to your presets when selecting effects. You'll see how this all works in a moment. At the bottom of the left side column, you see the performances. The display layout is similar to the other sections. First, the performances from the connected profiler are shown. Then, the local library, with the performances stored on the computer. And again, you can create your own folders for better sorting. If you want to select and play a performance via the Rig Manager, the profiler must also be in performance mode. To do this, select performance mode with the chicken head control or the button on the profiler stage. Now you can select the desired performance by double clicking it, it will be loaded into the connected profiler and be used. <laughs> To use the editor, a profiler must be connected to the computer via USB. With the editor in the lower half, you can edit the parameters of the selected rig. Select a rig from a list with a double click. The rig is now loaded in the connected profiler and the headphone symbol now appears on the far left of the list. If nothing has been changed on the rig yet, the rig is highlighted in green in the list. The top row of the editor represents the signal chain. Click on a symbol and the corresponding parameters will be displayed. It starts on the left with the settings for the rig, followed by the settings of the input menu. Next are the four stomp modules, which are located in front of the amplifier and cabinet. Next in line are the parameters for the amplifier and cabinet, followed by the four modules behind the stack. On the far right, you will find the global settings of the output menu. The square icons show which effect is loaded in the corresponding module. If the image is dark, the effect is loaded but not yet activated. Click on the symbol again and the effect will be activated. Alternatively, you can click on the power symbol on the left hand side. When the effect is activated, the parameters are also displayed, with controls to change their values. If you want to select another effect type, click on the symbol on the left hand side. A selection menu opens, and the effect categories are displayed. Select a category, then the desired type, and next you'll see another list. At the top you can select Load Type or Load Defaults, which are the default settings for that effect type. Load type makes sense if you've already selected and set an effect and want to keep these settings in order to try them out with another effect type, e.g. a phaser instead of a flanger. Next in line are the user presets, i.e. your presets. That is if you've already created some. And finally, the factory presets. Select a preset to show the parameters in the editor, where you can now change the settings with a mouse if you like. If you hold down the Shift key, you can change the value in smaller steps. As soon as you change a value in the original rig, it will be highlighted in red in the list. This indicates that the changes you have made have not yet been saved. For this purpose, there are the two red fields at the bottom right. You can save this rig with the changes you have made either in the local library or in the profiler directly under the specified name. The rigs from the Kemper rig packs as well as the rig exchange cannot be changed at their original location, which makes sense. You can only save them as a copy in the local library or in the profiler. I will save the rig in the local library and the rig will automatically appear there. Now I can change the name and other descriptions in the right hand inspector field if necessary. As soon as something has been changed again, the currently selected and edited rig is highlighted in red in the list, and now we have three options for saving. Store rig. The currently existing rig is overwritten. Store rig in profiler. The rig with the changed settings is saved in the profiler. The original rig remains in the old state under the original name in the local library. And duplicate. A new rig is created with the changes made and the original rig remains with its original name. 
So that's pretty much it for the basic functions in the editor. I'll show you even more possibilities for working with it in another video. With the profiler connected, performance mode should be activated so that you can select and play the performances in the rig manager. In performance mode, the display looks slightly different. If you select your connected profiler under All Performances, the 125 performance memory locations are now displayed in the list. Performances in their initial state are called New Performance. A performance cannot be deleted, it can only be initialized and returned to its original state. This can be done via the menu bar, Edit, Initialize Performance, or with the keyboard combination Command and Delete. Next, select a performance by double-clicking on it. The headphone symbol then appears next to the name in the list. Now the contents of the five slots are displayed in the right-hand column. You can change the name of the performance at the top and also change the names for the individual slots. If you have selected the rig in a slot by clicking on it, all the settings are displayed in the editor. Editing works just like in the browser mode. You see the signal chain in the upper half of the editor and can then change the values of the corresponding modules, load effects and of course save the changes. You can either overwrite the performance at the current location, this is possible with store performance in, or you can save the performance with all the changes you have made in the local library. <laughs> If you want to create a new performance, proceed as follows. Select a new performance with a single click. The performance is highlighted in green, but there is no headphone symbol yet. Then enter the new name of the performance on the right and confirm this with the return key. The name changes immediately in the list and you do not have to save the rig or the performance again. This only works when the rig or performance is selected and you are not in edit mode i.e. when the headphone symbol is not displayed. Now you have to fill the slots with the desired rigs. You can choose any rigs from your library. Go to the desired rig, select it with a single click and then select copy. Either via the menu bar, edit, copy, or simply by using the keyboard command, command and C. Then go back to your performance, Select the desired slot and then paste, either via the menu bar, edit, paste, or with the keyboard command, command and V. Now the selected rig is in the desired slot of the performance. You can then do this with other rigs and fill the five slots as needed. If you have loaded the performance by double clicking in pre listening mode and have already selected a slot, you can also go to the desired rig and select it by double clicking. It will then be loaded into the corresponding slot automatically. This is even faster than using copy and paste. The rigs in these slots can of course all be edited at this point and you should not forget to save them after all these actions. By the way, you don't have to switch to browser mode on the profiler to copy the rigs. You can stay in performance mode for all settings actions. You can also use the Rig Manager to keep the profiler up to date. Go to the menu bar, Rig Manager, check for software updates. Now it checks whether there is a new firmware for the connected profiler and whether the version of the Rig Manager is up to date. If there is a new version, it can be downloaded directly and installed via the Rig Manager. If you have activated the function automatically check for software updates in the preferences, you will automatically be informed about new versions. Of course, you can decide for yourself whether they should be installed. This is not an update function where the new firmware is installed automatically. If you check the box, include beta test releases, then all public beta versions will be displayed and you can also download them. Rig Manager also performs an automatic check for compatibility, which means that the Rig Manager version matches the PC's operating system and that the profiler's OS can communicate with the Rig Manager version. 
You can also create a complete backup of the Rig Manager content. However, this only affects the contents of the local libraries, not the contents and settings of the profiler. To create a Rig Manager backup, go to the menu bar, Tools, Backup Rig Manager Content. Then select a location on your hard drive and backup the content. You can also use a backup like this to move your Rig Manager data to another PC. You can load a backup of the Rig Manager content by going to Tool, Restore Rig Manager Content, and then loading the corresponding backup. A backup of the complete content of the profiler can only be made directly on the profiler via a USB stick. This is done as follows. Insert a USB stick into the USB port on the profiler. Press soft button 3, USB stick, and then soft button 1, backup slash restore. And then soft button 2, backup. Now a backup of the complete profiler content will be created on the connected USB stick. You can load a profiler backup via the menu bar. Go to File, Open Profiler Backup, and then load the corresponding backup. To do this, the USB stick on which the profiler backup was created should be connected to the computer. A previously created backup of the profiler can be loaded into the Rig Manager and you can then access the rigs, presets, and performances saved there. However, you only have so-called read access. You can change the rigs, but then you have to save them in the profiler or the local library. This is similar to what happens with the rigs from the Kemper Rig Packs or the Rig Exchange. If you get stuck, there is a help menu in the menu bar. Here you will find user manuals in different languages and versions. If you cannot find the info you are looking for, you can also write a message to Kemper Support or search for answers in the user forum. If you want to upload your own rigs to the Rig Exchange, you will be redirected to the page for uploading your own rigs via Upload Rigs to Rig Exchange.